So this is our multi-cervical unit. It's the machine I spoke about earlier. This is really advanced technology. Essentially what we could do with this is once the patient is positioned in here, we could hook up these load cells to their head and have them move through a range of motion. So if you could just bring your head all the way down for me. And what this machine will actually do is it will take precise measurements of how much range of motion he just did and send that to the computer over there so that we can get an accurate reading. He could also go backwards. And just by unlocking some things, we could also allow him to now turn his head to the left as far as he can. Good. And then again to the right as far as he can. And all the while, the computer is capturing the data, sending it over to the machine, and keeping a, a track of how much effort he's able to give. Once we finish range of motion testing, what we could do is now measure how much strength the muscles of his neck have. So this is really good for people that have been involved in a car accident and they have whiplash just to get good baseline data. So with this one, you won't see any movement, but what we'll have Walter do here is, I just want you to push your head forward, give as much effort as you can without causing too much pain. And again, this load cell here is communicating with the machine, sending the signals to the computer and it tells us exactly how much force his muscles are putting out. He could do the same thing going backwards into extension and then we would change some things around and we can measure him bending to the right and bending to the left. And what this will do in the end is give us a really cool reading of all of his range of motion that his neck has, the strength of all the muscles of his neck, so we get good baseline information. From there, when the patient comes back for their second visit, we put them in the machine just like this. And if you come around here to the back, you could actually see that there's a weight rack. And with this weight rack, we could put a prescribed weight on there. And as we have Walter bring his head forward, he's now working on strengthening those muscles. So first in the testing, we may have found where there was a weakness. The machine will actually give us suggestions for the weight that we're to use, and it'll go through the sets and the reps with them. Great, thanks Walter. So this is an example of one of the reports that we'll get after using the multi-cervical unit. So in this case, what you'll see here is the blue line represents the actual patient's strength. The red and green lines are what a strength of a normal person their age should be. So in this patient, you could see that they are significantly weak in moving backwards into extension and pressing right and pressing left with their head. This is an actual user and after about six sessions, we retested them. This is their second round of testing. You can see how that blue line has opened up and gotten a little bit larger, getting closer to what someone normal their age is. And their final test that we did with them after about 20 sessions was, you could see how they're now in the normal range of an individual their age. So it's a really good visual uh, report that you can give um, to help show the patient how limited they are when they first begin and how with a series of strengthening exercises, the muscles of their neck get stronger.